guys so i already finished packing i'm just getting my work done um tomorrow i'll be flying out to singapore at 7 a.m i'm just completing all my internship tasks right now i'm doing um survey and i have to finalize all the data research before i go because my boss wants the final results to make the storyboard flow uh, i'm gonna be handing it off to the senior of project management so hopefully she can take it from there i mean they, they were actually pretty nice they told me that they could just do it themselves and it's okay i'll just um you know have a break but i don't know why i just feel like uh like they count on me on something so and i feel that i have the urge to finish it because it is actually my main responsibility and i don't know i just took this unpaid leave and i feel that i'm running away from that responsibility which i actually do not like but what to do, I really want to have my physical graduation because it's like a one-time thing and I want to meet my friends in Singapore. It's been two years since yeah, since I was there. So I really miss the food, I miss my friends and I miss the, like, the shopping actually, the walking and everything. So yeah, I also got my nails done in the salon yesterday, all red. Just to tell you also was that I actually bought these tickets like a month before because they've already told us prior to the graduation date and it's so funny is that I bought the VTL once and I've already did the whole driver insurance and um, like research about it you know did plan and everything but then in the end you know just last week they announced it that they do not require any VTL anymore and we could no need to have any travel insurance but we already paid for it so it's kind of like waste of money but oh well maybe it's for protection we don't know but seriously um you know i've already done also my antigen test just now everyone came back negative i've already printed out all the necessary documents um to show you know all the vaccine certificates the flights the hotels so like we're gonna be ready when we get there and not be messy and like in a hurry or something and from my perspective i just managed my booking i booked the seats already um coming there going i mean off for tomorrow's plane it's pretty quite full so to be honest i was also amazed by it and i thought it would be very you know like no one's gonna fly there maybe like half of, of a plane but it's actually quite full so it's a full flight, even though it's COVID. I'm watching House of Gucci. It's so good. You must watch it. I use my hoodie and my mask. It's all protected. And I'm not allowed to eat or drink because my parents aren't allowed to. So stick around. So we just landed in time and we landed safely and smoothly. Everything was okay. And now we're just heading to the immigration to go out of this airport. So we just finished our immigration. Everything went smoothly. The documents was only the travel card that was required and some questions that were asked. And now we're just going to the belt to take our luggages right here. And yeah, everything is going smoothly as planned. So we just got our Gojek. I just saw there was a $5 off in Changi Airport. So I used that. Thank you, Gojek. And now we're heading off to Greatwood Residence at Devonshire. And I'm just so happy to be here literally and staying at Orchard behind Somerset 111, my favorite mall of all. So this is a sneak peek on what the apartment looks like. It's a service apartment. It's complete with the kitchen, bedding, Wi-Fi, and uh, there's also for ironing. It costs around $200 per night. It was very cheap, but very affordable. We got it like luckily, and we're gonna stay here for like a one and a half week. And here's the restroom. As you can see, it's quite okay. Everything's well maintained and neat. And yeah, we got like extra towels as well. So I'm pretty satisfied. So we went to Iron Orchard, Louis Vuitton, and the lady pulled out this Croiset Demir Azure bag which was left one in stock and I always wanted it as it was in my bucket list and my dad insisted on buying it for my graduation gift. It cost around 1700 and I love it so much as it's the perfect size for me. So thank you dad. So this is the next morning. I'm having breakfast at Kilini Coffee Tea. I'm at Kilini Road which is the original coffee shop. I'm having their famous French toast with their kaya and the egg and the coffee sea and it's very crowded right now. So right now I'm just doing my hair and makeup. I just popped up from the shower um, in the hotel room. It's two hours before the ceremony so I do have plenty of time. Right now I'm just prepping my skin for the makeup and later on I will be curling my hair with a flat iron just for that simple makeup look. And because I am not a pro at makeup so I'm just gonna fast forward this to speed this video along.
I'm heading to my graduation ceremony. We booked the grab, and now we're going there. The bouquet is a funny story. Is that I DIY it to, from the flowers that I bought from the supermarket, and look at my outfit. It looks fantastic, and everything is going smoothly, as planned. Now we're just getting ready. We're outside the grand hall. Everyone is getting dressed and being prepped with their families and friends taking photos. And as you can see there on the left side is my best friend Kalista. She got a first class award. I'm so proud of her. And you can see um, we have the counselor who's talking and everyone is just listening. It's still the beginning and we will be here for quite a long time. It's very cold but luckily we're wearing these robes so it's quite sufficient. And we're just waiting for our turn, so hopefully it would be fast. So an hour later, I've already came up the stage, and now we're there just announcing the students who couldn't make it. They're being posted on this slideshow. I'm so damn proud of everyone and um, this batch of management digital innovation. And now we're just paying our respect by standing up while the Chancellor of UOL and SIM are exiting the room. So this is the next day, I'm in SMU to fetch my friend. We're gonna go to the Louis Vuitton Marina Bay Sands. We're in SMU! SMU! <laughs> the huge ass building, guys. 360 degrees. We'll go to 15 charity organizations. So, uh, we're at the So, this event is completely free. I actually know about this because I just bought my Louis Vuitton bags like two days ago from the saleswoman and she introduced me to it and she signed up for us to this like 200 years of Louis Vuitton collection and I said why not and in the end we do get like free stuff like posters so I'm pretty happy with the experience here for all of you BTS lovers out there I think this room would be perfect for you because you can just feel and experience everyone is like writing on the walls in Korean and just having a good time here So right now, I'm in Singapore Fintech Association in Robinson Road. I'm here because I've been working remotely in CFTE for a while and I'm just visiting the office to meet them for coffee later and I'm just waiting and just having a blast, a review of the whole office room floor. So I'm heading back to Jakarta using Singapore Airlines. I've stayed in Singapore for a few days and the plane is half full as you can see. I'm very happy with the experience that I've experienced and I'm so happy going back home and I'm sorry I couldn't really record it because everyone's like looking at me right now so I'm kind of embarrassed but oh well, let me end this graduation video here Hi guys, so this is actually the end of my graduation vlog thank you for watching I just want to give a bit of intro on the degree that I took so I actually went to Singapore when I was 16 I took the SIM Diploma in Management Studies and then I went on to do the UOL Management and Digital Innovation it was called management information system before but then they changed it after 2017 and the reason why I took it is because I really like the subject of it and I think that tech is really required especially um, in this generation and I didn't have any confidence on doing a very technical program like there, I mean, there is computer information system by Goldsmith UOL there but maybe during that time I didn't have the, um, the software skills yet so I was a bit uncertain and I saw that this program was a good fit as uh, it's a bit of business management and tech togetherness um, so I took it and I saw a lot of my friends as well classmates who um, transfer here uh, to this degree from economics from business management because uh, I think it's an easy uh, degree to pass uh, than the like, economics or accounting but of course it's whatever you want so if you have any questions about it please let me know in the comments below um, asking I actually wanted to do a video about this but then I just think that it's better if you guys have any specific questions and I will answer them by myself um, so just to give you like an overview on the subjects is that um, compared to, uh, to the other subjects on UOL this one has more like coursework there's more on research and we also have like a research project in the end so if you're more towards the uh, coursework type person then this would be like a better uh, optional opportunity 
and there's also electives as well you can choose from like data science and then there's uh, information i think digital system services which is like ux ui and there's not a lot of like maths related so this would be a good um, degree if you're not a maths economics accounting person like me actually um, so right now i'm just taking data science because i actually learned statistics i took an elective course there statistics in market research uh, and i really love the subject i really love the, doing the hypothetical testing and learning about like clustering and yeah i think what i'm studying right now there is a bit during my bachelor years there were about like digital infrastructure i think it's a yeah it's a three years program and it's very actually it's easy to pass and a lot of my friends they pass with um like upper second or first class honors so you might go for it really and if you guys are thinking about taking any extracurricular activities you should there is a list of them you can uh, maybe ask someone or really look out in their web school website on what activities and societies you want to join i used to join the it club and the um, economic society club and i was the marketing and corporate development subcom i even joined other clubs as well as a member like from data science to the eons club the innovation club that one data and the um, sociology club i met a lot of new people i met um, my network went big and I had really fun, you know, like every day there's something new and there's a lot of events, workshops, you should join them as well. Um, but the most that I very appreciate was joining the Career Champs, which is new. It was started in 2020. Before we had those little career chapters, but then they became one. And I was the marketing and events um, student leader of it. And we had to do like open houses and we do like public speaking and everything. I think it improved my leadership and communication skills also being a student ambassador and also the good thing is that they actually pay you in incentives they pay you by giving you like mcdonald vouchers or shopping vouchers because they cannot give you cash but um, compared to others yeah i think you should join that that's my recommend of course there's also an isaac sim you can meet new people from other schools like religion societies and all like basketball badminton um yeah so whatever you choose please like at least choose one or two just to fill up your um, resume it's very good to show some leadership skills um, because employers do want to see that you have like what do you enjoy to do so doing what you love while also experiencing making new friends i think that's important if you're new to sim i hope you get the best out of it we have a Wulugang student her name is tasha open your mouth <laughs> Hello. Okay, so I'm going to answer some simple questions about Wulugang. So, how is Wulugang for you? Does it help you, benefit you in your career in, 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 in Indonesia? Yes, it does because I am taking a IT related like, course. So, having like, technology being in trend now, it's really helpful for your future. Okay, and what is the easiest okay. and hardest major for you in your degree? Uh, there's no easiest and hardest, I think, because we all actually take the same basic courses, but the only difference is the final year. The final year, there's more specialized courses, so maybe the hardest one would be like cyber security. And the easiest would be information systems. Uh, I see. And how about, uh, is it better group or individual projects? Which one is, is it, do you like it? Group projects? They have a lot of group projects, but I prefer individual. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes they group you randomly. Is it easy to pass the course? Yes, it's quite easy to pass. It's easy to pass? If so, you work hard and study hard. So for a non-technical student, is it okay for them to enter this program? Is yes, it, it's totally okay. I they, came from a non-technical diploma in high school, so, so is I was it able easy to catch up? Yes, it's easy to catch up because they give you the basic courses. And the friends, are they nice? The yes, they're all nice and a lot of them are guys. Really guys? Yeah. No girls? Very rare. Very like rare. Okay. 20% so you... girls. So you can so you listen girls, it's only love. So <laughs> There's you a lot of guys. For guys it's in that it's in that year. So That's for good. for like international student, are you satisfied with your career outcome, with the learning outcome? Yes, I'm satisfied with the learning outcome. Learning outcome. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you so much.